Ooh, I barreled that so oh good. No God. way. No way. What? What up, what up? We're here with the baseball bat bros. And today, folks, we have a very weird one. Look at that. The DeMarini Corn Dog Wood Composite Two-Piece Hybrid Composite and Maple. Let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I can proudly crown this the weirdest and oddest wood bat I have ever seen in my life. Here we have basically just like a three quarter inch thick tube of composite that goes like more than halfway up the bat into this very, very tiny, short maple wood barrel here. So it's almost like you have a DeMarini Voodoo two piece for the handle and they just slap a big heavy wood barrel on there. But you can actually use this in like wood bat tournaments. This has been discontinued. I'm pretty sure this is like a 2015 or 2016 bat. They had a few different variations of these, but this is probably the weirdest looking one. And if we compare this to like a regular wood bat here, this is the BB i13 HD, our custom turn model, a pretty big barreled wood bat. And the barrel size just is not even close. A very, very small barrel profile on the corn dog here. And when we were holding it, it's like shockingly heavy. Heavy too. So I think the idea of this bat is a really flexible handle. So you get a lot of give in it and it's going to feel a lot more like a BB core, like a metal bat, but you're going to have the function and the barrel performance of a wood bat. So let's try this thing out. There's only one way to find out. Maybe the corn dog surprises us today, fellas. All right. So I just tested out the knee bend test. Look at this thing. Can you see that? The handle that flexes so much. Hand. I think this is going to be horrible, but we'll find out. All right, folks, first things first, we're going to set a baseline here with a good professional quality wood bat just to see how it's going to sound, perform, and feel compared to the corn dog here. So we have something to compare it against. We have the American Batsmith BB i13 HD Birch 3330 here. Let's try it out. Then it'll be corn dog time. Let's get it. It's a good bat. I designed it. That's so loud, dude. Oh! All right. Wow. <laughs> hey, first time swinging our custom turn model in Birch. It's very good. Man, that's so intense. But like, there's barrel down there. Yeah. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Jeez. All right. So much barrel. Didn't ring up the hands at all. So freaking loud. We're hitting the liners off the warning track. Let's see what the corn dog can do, man. I am usually pretty open-minded and optimistic about these weird bat reviews. I don't think this is going to be good. <laughs> I think this is going to suck. I think they probably discontinued it for a reason. Here we go. Dude, that's so end loaded. Uh -huh. It's not necessarily that heavy, but just like the proportion of the weight you can visually see is all right here. <laughs> all right, let's freaking go. Oh, what? Kind of came off sort of hot. Ooh, I barreled that oh so good. No God. way. No way. <laughs> what? You hit that so oh hard. my god, I hate this. Gosh, I hate that. That was so good. I just thought to myself, why did that get over my head? <laughs> oh my god, that was hammered. This is the ugliest bat I've ever seen in my life. And I killed that ball. All right, maybe that was just a fluke, man. Maybe I just hit that ball so well. <laughs> that feels really good. No! Oh, oh short hop. That was tough though. That was up and away. And? I got that all right. That was pretty hand. Go. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah. that, that's crazy. That's so weird. Oh, no, dude. The barrel's so small. I thought I sort of got that decent, but it's like a little league barrel, like an old school little league barrel. Oh my gosh, a zero barrel. I thought I freaking got that. Maybe it, it was just like one super like perfect, perfect zone. Like that, I was so consistent across the whole barrel. I have one just body ball and then other than that, I haven't even found barrel again. That's kind of flying. No. 
Oh my God, that went like way out, dude. That went way out. That went way out. Oh God. No. Corn dog. I can't be out here hyping up the corn dog, Why dude. Why do they call it the corn dog? What are the people going to think of me if I hype up the corn dog? What were they on when they made this fact? Before this video, John was like, watch, you're going to hit one like 400 feet with it. <laughs> <laughs> and so far, I just, I've freaking smoked a couple. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! Yo! Damn! <laughs> this is so stupid. This is so dumb. <laughs> Corn dog bombs. Ooh, that's kind of jammed. Short hop. Short hop. That's jammed again. All right, so funny enough, it actually feels a lot like the vapor. Oh, get out! Where it's just like a club, a really, really small barreled club where if you actually get it out in front and get it like far out on the barrel, it launches the ball. But the swing weight's really funky and there's no sweet spot. Like you have to get it here or further to like actually feel like you're getting barrel. Down towards the hands, it's so bad. And like, <laughs> You walk up to the plate with this, you'll get heckled, I feel uh -huh. like. It's so ugly. <laughs> like, you'll get clowned if you have this bat. Oh my god. I think that's out, dude. Oh. That was not a good ball. I hate that this bat is doing well. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, no, it went out. Like, you don't do that with metal bats often. No, dude, like, oh. Uh, the conditions are totally normal. Yeah. There's no wind. We have, like, old baseballs. We don't even it's have, not like, good baseball. not even a fresh Some batch of baseballs. Some, I was about to just throw you there. It's an old yeah, look, you can't even see. It's a just ancient A-1010. <laughs> Man, I was so prepared to just, like, stomp all over this bat and just give one of our worst reviews ever, and it was going to be really funny. But it's doing fine. Ow, dude, it's like, if we had to bat bro scale this, like that's okay, short that's hop. short hop, it's still traveling, but sweet spot, three, power, 10, ten. swing weight, three. So it's like, overall it sucks, but if you barrel it, it'll go so far, like further than like good, good wood bats. That's mm -hmm. like 105. popped up. <laughs> it just, it jumps off the bat way too well. It went over the fence. Why does it jump off so hard? It jumps off like a freaking zen. Yes, it went over the fence. Oh no. Well, dude, what now? I guess let's see how far we can hit it. JT hacked. Oh my golf course. Golf course. No, that can't be good. I need to that. <laughs> All right, okay, so hear me out. De Marini made that bat for a reason, probably. They were probably like, okay, this bat looks awful, it's horrible, but it's actually good. Yeah. Why else they would, you know, who's gonna release a bat that looks that ugly and it sucks? You know, in hindsight, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> but I bet they just discontinued it because nobody like was willing to actually- It's called the corn dog. Yeah, nobody was willing to actually show up to a game with that bat. <laughs> It looks like a toy. It looks like a Fisher Price toy. Mom, can I get the corn dog? Mom, can I get the little tykes corn dog? Mom, get corn dog. <laughs> I have this. Hammer. Hey, gonna... <laughs> yeah, awesome. Corn dog hack for the boys. Oh, oh yeah, baby. My Lord. Go. Out of all of the videos we've done, over 200 videos, uh -huh. even including the Richie, including the freaking T-Man, I think this is the biggest underdog <laughs> surprise out of any bat. This thing looks so dumb, but I think it's like secretly like an engineering masterpiece, <laughs> dude. And I'm gonna kind of explain it. I think I know what's going on here and why it's so good. It is kind of heavy, it's not light, and the sweet spot is not very good, but Dude, it launches. Uh -huh. 
Like, this is like good, this has good pop for like a BB corn. Yeah. All right, folks, <laughs> <laughs> the corn dog. It was kind of good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really was not expecting that. I thought this was gonna be trash. But okay, so here's what I think is going on. You have basically just the skinniest composite handle of all time. Like this is probably one of the lightest materials you can ever put on a bat. And over half of the bat, that like from here to here has to be four to five ounces. And then you literally have 25 ounces <laughs> of wood right here. So, and it's like not a big barrel either. So I think they're probably just using like the densest piece of maple here you can possibly use. So I'm talking like Babe Ruth grade, like density maple here, where if it was this cut of maple throughout the whole bat, if there was a whole bat made out of this and like a regular turn model, this would be like a 40 ounce bat, if not like a 50 ounce bat. So I think by the way they designed this by being all handle and like no barrel and just kind of a club setup at the end, they're able to use just crazy, crazy dense, high quality wood. And that's why we're absolutely launching balls, but you end up sacrificing some sweet spot because of it. And it just looks ridiculous. But guys, the performance speaks for itself. I mean, like this right here is some of the best wood you can possibly get your hands on. Like you heard how freaking loud it is. Like this is MLB quality wood right here. And like the sweet spot is insane and you can hit it towards the hands and still get really good barrel. And this bat's awesome. But like this like out drove it. I'm assuming there's a bunch of these just sitting in kids' basements, like all throughout the world. And they just think it's trash or they've never used it because their teammates made fun of them. Bring it back out and freaking try it. Uh, pick it up on eBay if you can. There's probably some cheapos out there. But if you or someone you know has a freaking corn dog wood bat laying around, give it another chance because that was weird. So there you have it. All right, folks, JT and I's jaws are on the floor, but the corn dog can hit some tanks. Like I said, it's very end loaded and the weighting and the proportions of it are just very, very odd, but it can absolutely put up some velos and it doesn't ring you up at all just because of how freaking bendy that handle is. I honestly thought this bat was gonna be so trash. And here I am hitting balls in the high 300s. I like, those are good bombs for a metal bat. Like this thing was hitting the ball very far. So maybe we have to throw this thing in a wood bat madness 2.0, I guess, or at least do some velo testing with it later on. So if you guys liked the video, we'd appreciate it if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see y'all next time. Peace out.